This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Okay, let's finish up the preparation of our wireframe for review. Now, as you can see here, what I did is I jumped ahead just to save a little bit of time here and to move things along a little bit faster here for you. So as you can see, not only have I duplicated out the text label that I created, again, just by option or alt dragging on it, but you can also see that I've gone and changed the actual text as well. So there's the original header, navigation menu, slideshow, and then these three center boxes are actually going to be winding up as Y Karate, Meet Your Sensei, and Tour Our Dojo. And then you can see that I've basically repeated that process throughout the rest of the wireframe. News and events, calendar, and then we have the photo gallery, the Facebook fan page feed, the Twitter feed, and then finally the footer down at the bottom. So because I duplicated out the header, you can see as well that that layer style that I applied, the white stroke, gets copied out as well. So if you're following along and you want to do the same thing, go ahead and pause things up and duplicate out your header text as I've done here and go ahead and change the text labels for each of the main wireframe objects that we have. Now, once that's finished, I want to throw on another layer style again to help out my reviewers, to help out the people who are going to be viewing the wireframe. And that's what I'm going to do here. So before I get to that though, check out my layers panel. Once again, I've got vertical scrolling because I have so many text labels. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the bottom most text layer. That's my original text label, by the way, header. Go ahead and select that guy. Scroll all the way to the top of the layers panel. Hold down shift and grab the last text label, in my case, footer. And I'm going to group them all into a layer group. So controller command G and I'll call this group. I'll call this text labels. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Now this other layer style that I'm talking about, I want to make it more clear exactly what I have inside my wireframe. I just turned off my guides by hitting control or command semicolon. And what I want to do is I want to apply a layer style or a layer effect to all of my main wireframe objects. And it's actually going to be really easy to do. And it's pretty darn cool. I'm going to show you a couple of neat tricks that we can use throughout the rest of our training as well here. So I'm going to start off with the header. Let me just pan up here for a second. And I'll twist open my header layer group. And I'll select the, the actual header object there. Actually, let's go ahead and double click on them. Over on the right hand side, go ahead and double click. That brings us, of course, into the layer style dialog box, which we have been introduced to very briefly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a stroke onto my header. So go ahead and choose stroke. But notice if I just get this dialog box out of the way, a stroke does appear around my header, a black stroke, but I'm only getting it across the bottom. That's because of this position setting. Position is set to outside. So the stroke is actually falling off of the left top and right edges of my Photoshop document. So I'm going to switch my position to inside. And now I get the outline, the stroke appearing on the inside of the header, which is exactly what I want. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the size of my stroke. I'm going to drop that down to just one pixel. And as for the color, I want to use the same gray that I used for my text labels. So check this out. I'm going to click on my little color swatch here, brings me into the color picker. And then if I move my cursor outside of the color picker window, I can go and sample a color from anywhere on screen, including the text label that you and I had created earlier. Perfect. Just like that. I'm just going for consistency here. There we go. Go ahead and click on OK. And then back inside the layer style dialog box, this is something else very cool that I want to show you, is we have this option here called New Style. Go ahead and click on New Style, and it prompts you for a style name. Now, you might be scratching your head going, what's this all about? Well, let's call this wireframe. There we are, something like that. And then go ahead and click on OK. And then click on OK one more time inside the layer style dialog box. Now, once again, you're probably scratching your head going, well, why did we save out a style? What's that all about? Well, check this out. I'm going to go now to my styles panel. Do you still have your styles panel kicking around? 
And we now have a new style on the very end of the style panel called wireframe. So check this out. I'm gonna go back to my layers panel. I'm going to click on my menu, my main navigation menu. I want to apply the same stroke effect onto the navigation menu that we created for the header. But rather than going through all those steps again, double clicking on the layer and all that kind of stuff, we just saved that effect as a style inside the styles panel. So make sure that your main navigation menu layer is selected and then click on wireframe and voila, you now have that gray one point stroke applied to the main navigation menu. Nice. So now what we have to do essentially is apply that same effect to the remaining wireframe objects inside our document. Now you might be going, oh man, that's gonna take forever. Actually, no, it's not. You have your move tool selected inside your toolbox, I hope. You have auto select activated, I hope. Click on your slideshow object. I don't even have to go to my layers panel to know that my slideshow layer is indeed selected, that slideshow object, right? All I have to do is click on the object and then click on the effect inside the styles panel. Move down to the next one. Click on the Y karate box, that's center box one. Click on the wireframe. Applies to all three of them. Now, why did it apply to all three of them? Because it's actually grabbing the layer group, right? Not the individual layers, but the entire group. I just applied an effect to the entire center box group, which is fabulous. Let's go down to news and events and calendar. I only have to click on one of them and then apply that wireframe effect to get it on both news and events and calendar. Let's finish this off. We only have two more to go. Photo gallery, I can click on him or Facebook page or Twitter feed, doesn't matter which one because they're all part of the same group. There we go. And then the footer as well. Bang, there it is. Wonderful stuff. All right, so now we have this lovely effect applied to our wireframe objects. You don't have to do that, by the way. It's optional. I wanted to show you, I really needed an excuse to show you where we can use the styles panel and I wanted to show you a little bit more with the layers panel but you know also I wanted to make our wireframe look a little nicer before we export it and that's what we're going to do next.